What's up? Uh, yeah. Alright. So you might think that Hitman Agent 47 is the only big major action movie to come out this weekend, but uh, that's not true. You might want to go check out American Ultra. Because even though this is being sold as a stoner comedy, it's also an action thriller. Probably more so. Alright, so uh, this is going to be my quick little review. If you want a more in-depth and a lot more fun review, I suggest you go to Relive Film here on YouTube. I did a collab review with Movie Man Menzo and Movie Man Chad. Yeah, two, two movie men. Uh, we, uh, we went to go see this together. We had fun. We had a ball recording that review. And I'm very sure you'll enjoy it as well. Now, getting back to American Ultra. Alright, this movie, in case you don't know. Because, you know, to be honest, they're not really advertising this movie well, I guess. I just barely found out about it. I didn't even, uh, you know, whatever. Um, the movie stars Jesse Eisenberg, Kristen Stewart, uh, Connie Burton, and Topher Grace. Now, Eisenberg plays a stoner who's got problems with anxiety, but he's got a girlfriend that loves him. He's also a stoner that's played by Kristen Stewart. Even though he's got a lot of issues, she loves him, and you can tell that these two really love each other in their own little dirty stoner minds. They seriously look like a couple that don't bathe very often. Uh, but anyway, Eisenberg is approached by one person who says something to him that triggers something in his brain. And when he's in danger, when people come after him and try to kill him, he snaps into a killing machine and just wipes the floor with them and doesn't really know how he got these skills. And now all of a sudden he's got the gunman after him and it just becomes this amazing adventure. Now to be quite honest, the movie works better as an action thriller than it does a comedy, but it does have some funny moments. John Leguizamo, for example, he's in the movie for a little, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And he's really funny. He, uh, I love John Leguizamo and he He's, pretty, he's amusing in this film, and it also has a lot of quirky one-liners and dialogue. This is very smart and sarcastic, and it just, the movie itself just has this really unusual tone, but I like that. It's a movie to me that takes chances. It doesn't really give you a straightforward tone. Uh, it's just, it's dark at times. It's light at times. It's more dark, and I think that's what's going to throw some people off, is because it's, this should be a lighter film, but it's kind of dark in many aspects, so I think that's what's uh, throwing some critics off. But, you know, they obviously have sticks up their asses with this movie. This is a really fun movie. Now, the action, the violence, the gore, yes, gore, that's amazing what they have in this movie. And the best part of it, of it is, they know this added CGI blood shit. No, this movie has gore. Actual squibs that burst out into bloody glory. Um, and some of the, like, uh, the effects after, after the fact look amazing, you know? So it's, it's a very bloody film. <laughs> but that's the fun of it. It's a great little action movie. Uh, it's got a love story that actually you, you can actually get behind. Even though these two people are kind of screwed up. They clearly love each other. And it's kind of like this little endearing uh, romance between Stuart and Eisenberg. And they have great chemistry uh, in their own awkward way. And Connie Burton is a really interesting character. She's... Uh, she's quite confident, uh, and even though everybody is against her in this movie, she pretty much just kind of does what she has to do. Um, let's see who else. Uh, Topher Grace is an absolute prick. He's a, oh my god, he's a dick and a half, man. He, wow, he's, he's somebody you can't wait to see go down, you know? But uh, I definitely have to recommend this movie. It's it's a, a lot of fun. If there's any major issues with it, there's probably a lot of issues with it. 
but I really don't care. I really don't care because I really had so much fun watching this. Uh, but it's definitely the fact that it's not quite original. It, it, it takes a lot of elements from different movies like this that deal with, you know, spies and assassins and stoners. What a combination. But it feels refreshing. You know, it feels, especially during the summer season where, where things just feel very artificial. Uh, minus Mad Max, because that's just awesome. This movie felt refreshing because it's it's a lot more... I don't want to say it's complicated, I don't want to call it basic, but it, it just feels more in your face, you know? You feel more... Uh, I felt uh, more... I felt the intensity of this film, and I really didn't expect that from this stoner comedy. But yeah, definitely go check out American Ultra. Go see it at a matinee, go see it on a date or with friends. Don't let this movie flop because it's really, really cool. And definitely go listen to the critics because I don't know what the hell they're thinking. This is a really cool, well-made, uh, you know, it, it's a movie with issues. But it's, it's well-made enough to where you're like, yeah. That's why I go to the movies, to have a good time. So I'm going to give American Ultra a 4 out of 5. Definitely recommend it. And uh, Kristen Stewart, by the way, if you're a hater of Kristen Stewart, just stop, you know? I feel, I feel we all need to just have a marathon with her indie films, because she's great as an indie actress. So I am just got to put that out there. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, leave a comment if you have seen it or if you have any interest in seeing it. And, um, I guess that's it. I mean, put, put whatever comments you want. Uh, I, okay, I asked this in the Weedler Film Collab review. I'm going to ask it here, too. What is... Think of a comedy that tripped you out with the violence that it had. That's, let me know uh, what movie tripped you out with the violence it had. Alright, so go see this movie, have fun, and peace out. What?